Today, our colleagues on the Help Committee will question Xavier Beshara, President Biden's nominee to run the Department of Health and Human Services. Amid a global pandemic, the president has made a puzzling selection for this crucial post, the famously partisan Attorney General of California. Mr. Becerra has no particular experience or expertise in health. His chief passion project in California seemed to be using the force of the government to attack Americans' religious liberty and freedom of conscience. In 2017, the department he's nominated to lead finally provided a religious exemption to a controversial Obamacare mandate. Mr. Beshara led the lawsuit to challenge it. He used his taxpayer-funded office to sue Catholic nuns who didn't want government forcing them to violate their beliefs. This is a pattern with Mr. Beshara. When a California law forcing pro-life crisis pregnancy centers to advertise abortion was challenged in court, Mr. Becerra defended it to the bitter end. His absurd position in favor of government-compelled speech was slapped down by the Supreme Court. <clears throat> Over the last two years, the HHS Office of Civil Rights literally had to hold California and Mr. Becerra in violation of conscience protections that are actually written in to federal law. His zealous refusal to respect the citizens' legal rights positioned his state to potentially forfeit hundreds of millions of dollars in HHS funding. That's how committed they were to these violations. And now the fox wants to guard the hen house. We will review Mr. Becerra's testimony today, but I'm hard pressed to see any way such a radical and underqualified nominee should fill such a critical post at this crucial time. 